life after Baywatch, you know, I've done other things, many other things aside from that show, but I think that's the show that sort of people know me for and put me on the map. In fact, when I did Playboy, that was after I got on the show. Actually, I was approached to do Playboy before I got the show. Then when I got on Baywatch, the producers didn't want me to do it. They wanted to sort of have, you know, the fans, you know, watch my character develop. They wanted me to be this innocent girl, and innocent girls don't do things like Playboy. Well, my character may have been innocent, but I'm not. So <laughs> for me personally, in my personal life, it, it was a good fit. Although I did hold off for a little bit, and then I finally did it. And it was just great to be a part of that as well. Um, after Baywatch, you know, it, when I was off of the show, it, things shifted for me and my life and in my career. Um, and it took a bit to get used to being back on the auditioning, you know, you know, chopping block, if you will. You know, when you're used to waking up every morning, you've got, you know, you have to go through swimming, you have to go through wardrobe, you do your set, you know, that you're doing your scenes, and then you're, you have to go change, and then you have to do your talk shows. You never got sleep. It was constant. And it was security. It was a paycheck coming in every, every, every day to, oh great, you know, I'm not on a number one show anymore. I'm doing other things, but it wasn't series regular. But I've done other things that were series regular, but just didn't last as long as, as Baywatch. Um, it's changed a lot. And then you grow up, you, you grow older, and then you want different things. It's not that I thought, oh, I made it, um, so I can, I can be a mom now. But it's one of the things I do hope to be, and I do think about it a lot. But I'm still heavily involved in the business. I'm just at this point in my life, putting my hands on a lot of different things, being creative, um, auditioning for pilots, um, being asked to go on talk shows, making jewelry, a, a wine line, uh, marketing, uh, t-shirts, um, a little philanthropy. Um, but it's just, you know, I want that right role. I want to find the right serious role where you're watching this film and you're thinking, oh my gosh, who is that? Is that Tracy? I'm looking for that role. Well, I, I, already, I always loved comedy. I think that was, was kind of easy for me. But I want to do something that's a serious, dramatic role, where it's, it's a sort of a realm which most people have not seen me in. Like maybe one of the, the character that Charlize Theron played in, in Monster, she, Arlene, Arlene Morneau, she portrayed a, um, a, a serial killer. I mean, completely did it, even prosthetics, and gained weight for this role, and she nailed it. You know, or like a Jennifer Lopez, how she played Selena. You know, I just want to go for it and do a role that's really, you know, captivating and believable and shocking. I mean, people are used to all of this, and all of this is fun, but, you know, there's other parts of me that are, that, that are interesting than just the fun, campy, big boobed me. <laughs> Well, you know, as far as philanthropy, you know, I feel it's always good to give back. I have just been, a, I've been approached to do a show about philanthropy, competing, how to raise money for your cause. There's a lot of things and experiences that I've been through in my life that I think it totally calls for raising money to help, you know, raise awareness and find the cure. There's a lot of things that have happened to, in depths in my family that, um, you know, I think if we had more education in the world and we had more money to find the cure for these, these diseases and illnesses that my family has fell ill to, I think to be a part of that would be, you know, you know amazing. And just learning out today about, you know, Hillman, you know, what his charity is all about. And I just commend him for that. I think it's just amazing that he does that and does it so quickly. There's so much need in the world, you know, and, you know, to find the cure, to raise awareness, to make a difference, to save someone or someone's lives. I think it's really important, and I think it's good to be a part of that. Okay, let's talk about spinal muscular atrophy. My, I lost my niece to this disease. There is no cure. There's no Tylenol pill that you could take. There are things you can do to keep these, uh, you know, people who have stricken with this dis disease um, alive, but there is no cure. I think if we could find the money to help find a way to find the cure so that you can live or live somewhat of a decent life, that would be amazing, as well as uh, throat cancer, which my brother passed away from. Or, or lung disease, which my, do my, my dad died from, or my mom who's suffering from Parkinson's and diabetes as we speak. Under that umbrella, if you will, the Bingham umbrella, I would like to find a way to help find cures for at least just to start there. I mean, there's so many. I mean, that's something people don't know about me. They just think, oh, she's this, she's that, you know, she did the whole TV thing and, you know, but there's, there's a real side to me.
you know, you, you get in this business because you love it, but you also get in this business because, you know, you can make good money on it and you can do things with that money. And you can change things. You can change things. And I just think that's, that's just on a serious note. Those are things that mean a lot to me. You know, watching an, you know, a parent die or a grandmother die or your mom suffering. It's just really, really hard to see. You have to find a way to make one comfortable as they're passing on or find the cure. There have been cures for some certain diseases, and I think we could just keep going. To find the cure for cancer would be a war within itself. I mean, to, to, to rid of this disease in the world would just be amazing. I mean, we can put a man on a moon. I know it's science, but I think if we can do things like that, we can help find, you know, what we need to. For, for instance, for Christopher Reeves, he believed he was going to walk again. He believed. Um, and he, they raised $1 million. We raised $1 million that, that night at a big uh, invitational with a lot of celebrities. And it was just amazing that, you know, he believed and you saw him there live and suffering. I think it all it takes is that, you know, to find the money, raise the money to find the cure. My goal this year for 2014 for Tracy is obviously to get that perfect role, to do my hand, get my hand in uh, producing and directing. I'm dying to write an autobiography. I just have so much to say about my life so that I'm more understood and not misunderstood. Um, and then settling down and doing the whole motherhood thing, but still be me and still be fabulous. So I think that's me. Stay tuned. There's so much more to come with me. Oh, and taking over WAAF. Yes, I'm going to be the new girl. You need me, right?